Prayer changes things. You yes. may take your seat for a moment. Call your friend, your yes, neighbor. Yes. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, we are very, very advanced in the prayer today. You need to be alive. We are going to pray now Hezekiah's prayer because prayer changes things. This is from my book, Prayer Changes Things. Amen. Prayer changes things. Do you want things to change? Prayer changes things. Amen. Hallelujah. The altar of change. No impossible case with God. God changes what man says. Amen. God changes what the doctor says. Hallelujah. And God changes what he himself says. Yes. Is it amazing? Second Kings chapter 20. Call your neighbor. We are, we, are, we are going to pray two prayers only in Hezekiah's prayer. Yes, prayer changes things. Okay? Two things only. The first one is this one. Second Kings 20 verse 1. In those days, Hezekiah was sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said, Thus is the Lord. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then he turned to the face, his face to the wall and played ludo. He played dominoes. He played snakes and ladders. He watched Netflix. No, he prayed unto the Lord. Amen. Now, what did he say? I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. So God is a God you can actually mention certain things to him and say, Lord, I did this, I did this, I did this. Don't, don't, don't feel shy. When will you do it? When you get to heaven. When you get to heaven, you will not be praying. God will be right there. I don't know if we pray in heaven. That and we are praying here. All right? Now, and Hezekiah wept, and it came to pass that before Isaiah was gone out to the middle of the court, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee on the third day, thou shalt go up into the house of the Lord. And I will add unto thy days 15 years. And I will deliver thee. That's where 15 years comes from. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Amen. Now, the timeline for answering of your prayers is as long as it takes to walk from inside the house to outside the house. That's how fast your prayer is going to be answered today. So when I walk from here, through the door here, into the corridor, that is right there, my prayer has been answered. Beautiful. And your prayer is going to be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the Lord said to Isaiah, take a lamp of figs. You see, now, after the man of men who, Hmm. And they took it and laid it on the boil. He had a boil. And he recovered. And Hezekiah said, what shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me? Now, he took a lamp of figs and put it on the boil. So he said, oh, but a boil is not a life-threatening disease. It's because you are not a doctor. A boil can, it's like, it's like an abscess and it can develop. And it can become the pus and the bacteria can enter into the blood. You get bacteremia. And then after some time, septicemia. The high fever and heart, whatever, and you die. So it can if it becomes worse. All right? So today, we are going to pray for healing like Hezekiah prayed. And when we also take our communion at the end, it's going to be fantastic and powerful. We are going to pray for healing for 10 sicknesses in our lives. Amen. Amen. Number one, and we are, I want us to pray 
And God is going to show you which lamp of figs that you need to apply to every condition. So the first condition we are going to pray for are pains. Any pain you have. How many sometimes have pains at different places? <laughs> pain here, pain there, pain here, inside. You, you don't even know where the pain is. It comes at this time, it goes at this. We have different types of pain. Colicky pain, pain that comes and goes. Pain that comes somewhere and radiates somewhere. Pain that comes at a certain time of the day. Pain that is relieved by bending forward, by doing these certain things, make the pain go. All kinds of pains. And one of the pains sometimes is a sign of cancer. Especially new pains. Yes. So, strange pains and all forms of pains. Yes. So, we are going to pray now for healing and God is going to show you how to be healed of what? Pains. And by the time you walk out of your house, you see, Revelation 16 verse 11 says, and they blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds. So pains are one of the conditions that you can have. Amen. Are you there? Yes. Pains. Sometimes pain is a good thing because it's a sign of something. So every pain, joint pain, knee pain, back pain, Stomach pains, eye pains, mysterious pains, pains that come and go, pains that make you anxious. How many have had some pains and you became anxious? What is the meaning of this pain? Kama shopala mazandalaba. Every standing. We are not, this is Hezekiah. We are not praying for somebody in Timbuktu. We are praying for yourself right now. Hezekiah's prayer. And between now and just take a step to the corridor, your prayer is answered. Every pain in your life is going today according to your prayers. Yes. We are praying for 10 problems. Mando Katabala. Today is a day of pens. Hallelujah. And pains in the teeth mm -hmm. and all tooth problems. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's going to go. Yes. If your teeth are not nice, mm. from today's prayer, they'll be nice. In the name of Jesus. Every abnormality in your tooth yes. or your teeth that makes you look funny, oh. like Dracula or any of these guys. Mm. Is going today. Amen. And through our prayers, God is going to give you a blessing. One day I saw a brother said, many times I've, in fact, I've, I've, I can mention so many people that have called said, I'm changing your teeth. Wow. I've changed it. And I take them to the dentist. And wow. And just suddenly, they look so handsome. All the girls are flowing there. <laughs> beautiful. Are girls beautiful? Are girls beautiful? Girls are beautiful. Amen. All boys should like girls, and all girls should like boys. Amen. So, we are praying for tooth problems or teeth problems. Yes. Because half of the doctors are dentists. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine how many problems they have with teeth? So, and your children, look at their teeth. Huh? Before you realize the teeth are pointing to the North Pole. It must come back. God is correcting everything. Pray about it all. Hmm. You see, when I say things, people just don't, they don't believe that it's a serious thing. We are praying for number two, teeth. 
pray. Yes, Lord. Listen, mm. one day I saw something. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the pharaohs? They exhumed a pharaoh, one of the pharaohs in Egypt. And when they took the, the what do they call it? The mummy. Yeah. They took it and they did an MRI on the mummy. And they found in the jaw what, what they said it was an abscess. So they said that the, the pharaoh died from an abscess in the teeth. Yes. I always remember that they did it. They took the mummy and went to the hospital with it and did an MRI or a CT scan or whatever. And they saw an abscess in the mummy's dressing. So they said, oh, that is probably what killed him. Yes, in the, in the teeth. So whatever has decided to kill you. See, somebody will wake up in the future and do an MRI on your dead body and say that it was a tooth problem. God forbid. Lift your hand and pray right now. Toothache yes, and yes. all related conditions. My God. Wow. Amen. Amen. Now, how many is itching? It says, the Lord will afflict you with boils and with the itch. Are you there? With the itch from which you cannot be healed. Wow. The what? The itch. From which you cannot be healed. Deuteronomy 28, 27. So every condition in your skin is being healed. How many have suffered from skin issues? Because your skin is your protection from so many things. Yeah. So every itch and every boil and every skin condition, rashes and related secret skin problems. They are all going. Let's pray for it. By the time you come out of this prayer meeting, ends all these specific, because these are all prophetic prayers. Certain particular people are going to, this is the end of it. Yes, this is the end of it. This is the end of pains. Tooth, teeth, tooth or teeth, choose. And then itch, skin, rashes, this, that, 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 that. In your family, it is going. Every skin thing. Lift your hand and pray. Taramo kabarandala, ramandole makabarala, demelo la meko baranda. So vara raba libelele bo balala la mama. Jande vene veke so. Every itch from which we cannot be healed up till today. Yes. Balonge tamarole. Yes. We receive healing. We receive healing. Father, we pray to you that you heal us from every skin condition that is plaguing us, worrying us, harassing us. Mandola, I'm praying concerning all conditions in our health about our weight. Mm. Yes. Overweight or underweight. Because all... Sometimes people cannot get married because they cannot put on weight. They are not... Because when you marry, you put on weight. Mm. But sometimes you need to put on weight to even be attractive. And sometimes you are too big for your height. Do you understand? Yeah. And which is going to lead to this, going to lead to this, going to lead to this. Now the lamp of faith. I hope your God is showing you your lamp of faith. By the time we finish, we are all getting 10 lamps of faith. Amen. Because apart from the prayer, now God will show you, take a lamp of faith and put it on the boil. When you put it on the boil, what happens is that the medicine in the, the figs, it, it abs- absorbs by the skin into the boil and then helps to, to break the boil and also to maybe it even helps to localize the boil so it stays in one place. Because if what is in the boil spreads in the blood, that's when you get the bacteremia and the septicemia. So God is giving you a wisdom key. Each one has a lamp of fig. The pains, the tooth teeth problem. Tooth problem or teeth problem. And then what? The skin conditions. And now overweight and underweight. Yes. 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 You know, one day I saw a wedding. There was a lady. She was way overweight. And she was the one getting married. 
And people at the wedding were surprised that she was getting married. You see, because the, based on the weight, they were not expecting somebody to choose her. Yeah. But the person who chose her said, this is what I like. Hey. Beautiful. Oh. So whatever weight problem you have, today marks the end of it. And the lamp of faith, receive it. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and pray. Keep on Jesus. praying. We are finishing very quickly, oh, please. Yandu Our time is going. Uh, look, everybody stand. Get out of your bed now and rise up and pray for your life. Oh, yes. Pray for your life. Yes. What you pray for, God is answering. Yes. Every single prayer. He's answering. Call your friend and stand up. Now. La Look, la no, la no, la stop, stop, stop. Stand up. Mm. Stand up. I won't continue unless you stand. Eish. Stand up. Are we praying? We are praying. Lift your hand and pray. We are praying for yourself. Yes. Pains are yes. going. Tooth problems are going. Yes. Uh, skin conditions are going. Yes. Overweight and underweight problems are going. Yes. Walk around. But every inherited disease, mm. when you family diseases, family diseases, asthma, hypertension, diabetes, sickle cell disease, anything that you, you don't know why. It can, it's in your family. Every sickness when they ask you, does your mother have it? Does your father have it? That is what I mean by inherited. Yeah. So whatever represents an inherited sickness. Whoa. You get what I'm saying? It is good. And nowadays, breast cancer is also seen as something that comes. It comes from, there is a gene. And it comes from your mother. So if your mother has had it, then they are really concerned to keep checking your breast because it's something that they know comes through the lines. And a lot of cancers are like that. Are you there? Amen. Lift your hand and pray. It's going. Yes. God is healing. Look, God pray. Is healing. These are, Holy Ghost is directing oh, us yes. to pray. Tamara Bolaba. Tamara Yes. Diabetes. Yes. Hypertension. Yes. Asthmatic conditions. Yes. Cancers. Yes. Balomada. Father, yes. we pray for healing. Mandora Mandala. Rabadala Bada. Weight is healed. Oh. Underweight is healed. Tasavuba. Some of the weight conditions are genetic. In a name. Genetic weight. Malalamo, it comes from the family. Red Velle Le Mandela, all sexual diseases, mm. your sexual function, mm. sexual fertility, gynecological, urological. You know, I don't want to use big words. Okay, you get what I'm saying. Yes. You may think I've not been to school, but I have. I have big words. I can use big words. Only you, you think I'm speaking Chinese. I'm just saying sexual and having children and anything in that department of your life, bleeding, there's that, all those type of things to do with you. You get what I'm saying? If you go to Kolebu, one whole block is only for that. And there are four blocks. One is only for women's diseases. And we have men's diseases also. So we are praying right now. Lift your hand and pray. All functions. Some of you, 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 you have sexual problems. Hey. hey, you are healed. Amen. Lift your hand and let's pray right now. Yes. You, you are going to have children in the name of according Jesus. to the power of God. In the name of Jesus. If you want three, yes. you have three, four, two, one, yes. six. Receive yes. it. Yes. Power of God is Hallelujah. correcting everything that is wrong. Hallelujah. Erectile dysfunction. Conditions of Rant infertility. No spam. No this. No desire. No affection. God is healing you. Are you still with me in the prayer? Right are you sure you are praying? Yes. Beautiful. Mm. Now, we are praying concerning every cancer. Cancer. Number seven, cancer. Now, two cancers we are praying specifically against the common ones, breast cancer and um, prostate cancer. Both of these have a lump of fakes that, you see, because what, when there is no answer, do you see, to things, do you see? That is where when God gives wisdom, do this. It helps. Amen. Amen. So we are praying for healing. 
And when is your healing going to be? We are going, I'm going to anoint everybody and pray for healing when I get to number 10. Okay? Because we are praying for healing. All of us. We all need healing. Amen. So every type of cancer, stomach cancer, esophagus cancer, esophagus cancer, when you swallow, then it, 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 it can't go. Stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer, you see, people become small. Throat cancer, brain cancer, I mean, small, large intestine cancer, lung cancer, all, but specifically, breast cancer. All ladies, hold your breast and pray. In Jesus' name, prostate. And there's a lamp of fix for it, by the way, for these two. There's a lamp of faith that there's something to do that helps to prevent it. Yeah. You want me to say, isn't it? But I will not say. As you say, I will not say. Find out. Amen. You'll be shocked. Paromagada. Toramandala. Hello, Barekete. You pray from ev for every mysterious disease. Whoa. Because there are many diseases that are mysterious. Mm. The doctor, you don't know what is it? Why is it coming? Why is it going? Mm -hmm. What is this? You can't even tell yeah. what it's about. Every mysterious Every disease. Every mysterious disease. Is going. Is going. And I think one of the mysterious diseases we have now is the uh, flu. The corona is a mystery disease. Because they don't know. That's why it's amazing that even as we don't know, and let's say something is possibly maybe a help, why wouldn't you take it? Something that has been used for 65 years, chloroquine, that has been used for 65 years in the world, as and safely, why wouldn't you let people take it? Mm. But it's, it's a, see the mystery of it is amazing. Amen. So anything that is in your life that is mysterious, you know, what is this thing? What is that? I went to say that they said there's nothing. I went to see this one. I did a scan. They said there's nothing. I did an x-ray. They said there's nothing. I did this. Uh, and it's like you are still not okay. And things are not okay. Mm. Like this flu thing. Do you see? We don't know. Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? Is it that? People don't know. Doctors have never argued like this before. Because even on my class page, the doctors, they, they have different opinions. Some are for, some are against. But I've never seen it before since I became, I've been practicing medicine for 30 years, 35 years. Yeah. Or 31 years. Yeah. I've never seen argument on a basic thing. So every mystery in your life, answer is coming. From here to the corridor. That's the end. From here to where? The corridor. God, I know God has heard my prayer today. Lift your hand. I'm so, I pity you if you are not part of this prayer. No. You are crossing 70 with ease. In the name of Jesus. With this prayer. Yes. Every mysterious disease. Your personality disorders. Personality disorders. Yes. Personality disorder has to do about the way you think about yourself the way you think about others, and how you respond to things emotionally. So that's how it affects, especially marriages, relationships. Some people have no feelings. They are like feelingless objects. All right? The way you relate with other people. So we have so many personality disorders, and I think, if you ask me, a large number of people have personality disorders. You wouldn't know. You know that you think it's bad behavior, but it's actually a disorder, and it's like genetic. Mm. And they come. You see it in the child. It's behaving an odd way. No friends like this, like that. Bad, wrong behaviors. Do you get it? So we have so many types of personality disorders. So when um, Princess Diana... Um, had the problems in her marriage, some people felt she had a personality disorder. That's why the problems were there. So some people diagnosed, they said she had what they call a borderline personality disorder. 
do you see, which says a pattern of instability in personal relationships, poor self-image and impulsivity, all right? And a person with a borderline personality disorder may go to great lengths to avoid being abandoned, all right? So a pattern of instability in personal relationships. I mean, that's, that's what, so you, know, you never know. You can live all your life. You always feel you have a bad marriage, but it's actually a sickness of the personality. Yeah. And maybe you have one. Yes. Wow. So let's pray for healing of every personality disorder. Some of the most severe marital crises are caused by personality disorder. Severe marital problems. Sometimes I look at, if you read my book, Beauty and the Beast, the ten, I think 10 types of bad, bad marriage passes. One of them is the patient. Somebody who's got a problem mentally. is the patient. Yeah. Lift your hand and pray for every healing of personality disorder. Yes. I want us to pray about personality disorders. Mm. You know, I, I saw, I was surprised. They said, what is the most painful mental problem mm -hmm. to ever have with someone, to live with someone? I thought they were going to say schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. But no, they say borderline personality disorder is the most difficult mental condition to live with anybody. So you may be having somebody who has never been diagnosed as a mental patient, but the person has what they call the borderline personality disorder. It has been known to be the one to cause the most agony in relationships. Amazing. Is it not amazing? amazing. Yes. And you will never be diagnosed because you don't have anything that will be diagnosed as schizophrenia or real madness. But how you, your, your problem with personal relationships, rigidity. Yes. Is it amazing? Yes. What is the hardest mental illness to live with? Borderline personality disorder has historically been viewed as difficult to treat. Yes. Amazing. Emotionally difficult to stay with. Amazing. So, it looks like even real madness is easier to stay with than what they are calling borderline personality disorder. So, every personality disorder in your life is being healed. And it may be the cause of all your marital problems. But you are being healed right now. Amen. Everybody lift your hand. Please get your oil ready. We are praying number 10 and then we are anointing with oil yes. and praying for healing yes. right now. Mm. Depression is Depression. one of the mental hey. illness. Schizophrenia, madness, any in your family, in yourself, in your genes. Maybe it's in your genes going to manifest one day. Jesus name it will never happen. It will never happen. Lift your hand and pray right yes, now. Lord. Get your anointing oil. Oh yes. And don't la 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 Mando kabara manda my god every case my family god family diseases my god mandola mande very my god roba dala badala baba for his power le fait de que son dala oh yes is healing yes mando kamara mama and to roba dala la mama bada bala bala bele bele le mama dala la hallelujah take take your oil right now yes take your oil put it on your finger and rub your hair. Yes, your hair yes. God is healing Amen. every part of your body. We Amen. are praying for healing. Amen. The Bible says that yes. Jesus sent his disciples yes. 
and the disciples he sent anointed the people mm. and prayed for them and they prayed got healed. Prayed for them. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. The Bible Samuel says, if anyone is sick, let him call for the elders. Yes. Let them pray about them and anoint them with oil. Yes. So anointing with oil Jesus. is very powerful and biblical. Mm. Begin rubbing your head like how oh, the yes. shepherd Mark rubs the sheep. All flies are going to go from the smell of the oil. In the name of Jesus. They will not settle will not on settle. you. Do not in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Yes. Be healed. I'm healed. By the power of God. So far, Every mystery disease. Yes. Yes. Every sickness. Every sickness. Every diagnosis. Every diagnosis. Frightening diagnosis. Matakobala. Wicked diagnosis. Yes. Diagnosis of death. Yes. Madalino Kumarani Namiga Bashaga Mumade. Oh, yes. Dama Gubasa Katagede. Yes. Koda Geva de Boga de Vare Bodele. Tagala Ruma Gavigede. Chagaza no Madaga Daga Shaga Madumaka. Telema Cabalo Mandevede. Every inherited disease, yes, liver Lord. disease, yes. kidney disease, kidney disease, stomach disease, stomach disease, colon disease, colon disease, heart disease, heart disease, lung disease, lung disease, mental condition, mental condition, personality disorders, personality disorders. skin conditions, skin conditions, all pains, yes, all pains, all pains, or rub your head right yes. now, yes, all pains, I rub my head, all pains, all pains, skin diseases, skin diseases, rashes, rashes, itches, itches, daramajuma, molasa, Wakataba, Roman de Every condition, Jakasoka Paka, the lamp of faith, Jakasoka Paka, Roman de Lede, Jakasoka Paka, you shall live, Jakasoka Paka, and not die. Aya. Receive your healing, Malakata. Receive the help from God, yes. Receive healing, yes. Father, we lift our hands, we lift and we our, pray hands. We our hands for healing, we pray for healing, for healing, Lord, yes, Lord, for healing in our bodies, yes, Lord. Lord, healing from you, Lord, Aya, la, la, healing from you, Lord, oh God, healing from you, Lord, oh God, healing from you, Lord, oh God, healing from you, Lord, yes, Lord, from every pain, healing. Lord. Every rash, Lord. Zamblogla. Every family disease. Malamolele every toothache. Ashkafozua. Every condition. Bravone. Frightening condition. Mysterious disease. Every mysterious disease. Personality disorder. Mental sicknesses. Mental sickness. Mental sickness. My God, my God, my God. We receive healing. We receive healing. Now lift your hand and thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God.